Question: We all knew you had a very tough assignment, first time out. Yeah. I know it was difficult for you, so um, just give me give me the idea of you know kind of the, the experience. If you're comfortable, like, do you think, oh, I shouldn't have done that? I, I should have waited. What, what, how do you feel about the first one? Um, yeah, everything everything just happened so quick. But um, saying no to the UFC was just not an option. I would have fought at uh, I would have fought up middleweight if I had to. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, saying no was just not an option. So when when you get the setback, it doesn't go the way you go. I mean, do you walk away going, eh, no big deal, or does it does it still stick with you a little bit? It still hurts. It definitely yeah. still hurts because it um, you know, it it, it put a, a lot of things in perspective that I should be, you know, training more so all year round, not just training just because I have a fight, but being ready and you know, st staying ready, you know, for for a fight camp. So just in case anything does happen, I'm at least somewhat ready. I literally came off the couch for that fight, like making no excuses, but uh, yeah, I just literally, that was uh, like off the couch, <laughs> off the couch, Josh. So were you able to make adjustments this time around? I mean, did, did you just uh, like stay in or are you <laughs> yeah. off the couch again a little nah, bit? No, 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 no. So I was um, helping out uh, Alexander Volkanovsky for his uh, his fight camp. So I helped him out, had a, had a you know quick look at how he sort of, plans his training and how he sort of does all that like his strength and conditioning his nutrition and and sort of just imitated what he was doing so once that fight camp was over and we all uh, split up and did our own things again you know I sort of tried to imitate what he was doing and his sort of work ethic and yeah just his uh his mindset that's awesome so obviously on the surface we go okay different weight class so things are going to be different that's but it. to you it's, it's more than that it's, it's not just a different nah, weight class no nah, it's way more than that because seeing the champion in your weight division you know you sort of get to look at it and be like wow that is what i have to compare myself to and that's the level that i have to get to if i want to be a champion one day you know it, it's a massive eye opener and you know i'm really grateful that uh volkanovsky got gave me a chance to to help him out with this so it was a massive eye opener for me i think i gained more out of it than he did me being there so it was awesome it was an awesome experience very cool all right so you get this matchup with charles what, what do you think it's a, you know he's had a couple setbacks but i think people have really enjoyed his fights and he's kind of got a little buzz around so what do you think about the matchup itself um i like it i like it he's a you know he's a very very slick striker he's he's great all around and i feel like any fight he's in he always brings a fight and I think that's just perfect for me to showcase, you know, my skills against a guy that's going to come and bring that fight, that same sort of style. I feel like we're very similar in a lot of areas, um, and I think it's just going to be a, a, an awesome fight. Yeah, it should be fun. What's the goal here? I mean, do you feel like you feel like in some ways you're kind of walking in with a clean slate? Like, come on, all right, that that counted, but it didn't really. Or do you feel like I got to go prove to the world that that guy wasn't me? Oh, uh, definitely. I definitely have to go out there and prove that that off the couch Josh 10 days notice for a fight upper weight class is definitely not me um, and I've done a lot of you know made a lot of changes and I can't wait to just you know shut up a lot of people that are you know that are saying these these things about me so I try not to to get into it too much but like when you hear it over and over again you just sort of get over it so yeah um, I just want to silence a lot of people Dig it, man. last thing for me as you said I think on paper this looks like it could be pretty exciting how, when you when you play this thing out in your head, how does it go? Is this is this a, is this a crazy one? This is definitely gonna be a crazy one. I, it's either gonna be a fight of the night, or uh, I feel like I'm gonna stop him. So, I either way, I, I feel like we're gonna be uh, in contender of that fight of the night bonus. You said you wanted to silence people. What was the fallout like that you want to silence so many critics? Ah, uh, well, you 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 go into that fight. You know the look, the way I was looking is like fat and sloppy and you know fight, fighting up a weight class that, that, that's generally how it is I'm gonna say it how it is I came in looking fat and unfit which I was and uh, you know Jalen made me look stupid in there and I d I genuinely need to prove everybody wrong that that is not me that is that is a guy that literally came off the couch on 10 days notice to fight up a weight class you know so, so um, are you sort of treating this as a, your actual UFC debut then? yeah I, I, I feel like that is but you know, Jalen gave me a, 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 a tough lesson, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for that lesson. And, uh, yeah, to me, this, this does seem like it's my UFC debut, but, yeah, I, I do see it that way. And then you talked training with the champion. Uh, was that, when you talk about lessons learned, is that also how, like, outside of the octagon, too? Because Charles was in here earlier, and he says after his last few losses, like, he basically had to learn how to be professional both in and out of the octagon. Yeah, 100%, 100%. Like, uh, the way he conducts himself, like, 
just the way he treats everything. He's literally uh, what we call a one percenter in Australia. He does everything. He does everything to gain that one percent, and uh, that's why he's he's where he is, um, and that's why he's at the top. And like I said, being able to be a part of it and see it firsthand, like people can say a lot of stuff about, oh yeah, this guy works so hard, or this guy does this, and this guy. You, you don't really acknowledge it until you see it firsthand and you're trying to do it alongside him. And yeah, he's unbelievable. He's one special individual. Hey Josh, uh, there seems to be a plethora of incredible fighters coming from down under. You know, from the likes of Volkanovski, Whitaker, Megan Anderson. But I'm interested in what sets you apart from the rest of the hat. What sets me apart? Well, I'm the, the only Australian Filipino uh, coming out of Australia, so I think I might be the only full-bred, full-blooded Filipino in the UFC right now. So, I uh, yeah, I think I am actually. Um, but um, what sets me apart? Not much. I just want to be, you know, I just want to be remembered as as one of the. the I just want to be remembered as one of, one of the best fighters to ever do it. Any question? All good. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. Thank you.